Greetings and salutations, folks. And welcome back to Secret of Mana, where last time uh, we took care of one of the uh, eight temples, I presume. Also, this dragon seems to be continuously floating back and forth above. I'm sure that's going to be significant. Um, okay, I was wondering where the, uh, the bad guys were. Oh, how nice. There we go. Wow, and off after all that, Sprite is already almost dead. That was fast. So I guess I'll hear the party. Um, but yeah. Um, so we've taken care of everything we need to inside, um, the forest, which was a little bit of a maze, uh, a little bit of a puzzle maze. Um, but now we have an analyzer ability, which will allow us to analyze the crystal, figure out, oh, this crystal right here, um, figure out what we need in order to proceed. Sylphid's magic will work. Makes sense. I mean, it was the magic that we picked up at the temple. Um, although, I would imagine there would be eight different magics then? Uh, one magic per temple? So, does that mean I've already taken care of three of the temples? Um, it is a little unclear. But let's use the cheapest air blast. See, that's kind of interesting, though, uh, because when uh, dealing with the, uh, I've, oh, okay, nice how the punch just missed. Um, when dealing with the lava flow, uh, the cure to the, to dealing with the lava flow is obvious. Uh, use ice. But in this case, um... Like, there's no pretense in... in regards to, um... why that magic worked in that situation. Oh. Hello. I cannot see these enemies because they are hidden by the background. And now this person is asleep. Okay, so I think Nick just leveled up with the axe. Um, let's give him the... Let's give him nothing, I guess, because uh, the other two weapons are being used. But yeah, there's no pretense as to why... Um, wind works in that specific situation. Um, is the guy still there? That's why it's important that your background elements do not block. Why didn't that punch connect? So it looks like I've got a whole bunch of paths I could go down. Or I don't have any paths. This area is ju just a uh, appears bigger than it actually is. All right, I guess I will. Nope, I will heal everybody. Uh, 
But it's interesting. Um, but at this point, I'm not entirely sure where I'm going, other than um, having a general direction forward. Like uh, that decree that I've. Uh. Like, it would be nice if, uh, like, the outline of bad guys, uh, showed through, uh, background elements. Now, if I was playing this, um, in emulation, um, I would be able to, uh, remove different layers and make it a bit easier for myself. Did any of these attacks do something? Okay. Sometimes it's hard to tell if, it, if your attacks actually will do something, because, uh, oh. Somehow both of those attacks missed. Oh my gosh. And I think, is that where I came from? That is where I came from. Okay. Because, yeah, uh, I've, I've just been given kind of like a general direction. Go to the upland. Um, find the temples. And I think there's one more. Actually, I really shouldn't keep circling around because enemies just repop. Um, okay, so she's done with her fists. So we'll switch her over to the axe. Um, and then that gives the fists to Nick, who actually needs them in order to level up his character. Also, I probably should consider healing because Ripley is almost out of health. Uh, yeah, I will do that. And actually, I will use a candy because they are cheap. Though I probably shouldn't have because... Sprite is already... Uh, in need of healing. There's a path to the right. Um, oh, God. The caterpillar is very dangerous, especially since it's hard to tell if it's doing anything. Like, there doesn't seem to be any, um, any attack animation. That you just exist and they take damage. Ah, there's a cave here. That might be important. So there's a path to the right, a cave up top. Is there anything to the left? There's nothing to the left. Ah. Okay. Again, there's some some of these enemies have zero attack animations. And that's that's and that kind of makes me uh, uh, approach this as less, as like that, it, it makes it have that quasi real time element. Like you have the ability to move around at your will, go wherever you want. Um, enemies appear in the in the game world as opposed to going to any separate screen 
but you still kind of wander back and forth, taking turns attacking. Um, like, enemies don't actually have to have direct contact. Just the vague sense of contact to hit you. Oh. Temporarily out of fuses, cannon travel is closed for the evening. Come back. Where does cannon travel get fuses? Hmm. So, if you're... If you let the AI controlled character... Uh be confused, they'll kind of, like, start wandering back and forth, um, swinging wildly. Uh, if you're controlling the character that is confused, um, then it's just... Why are none of these axe attacks hitting? That, that seems to be, like, a common refrain for me. Like, I'm standing in front of the guy, I swing the weapon, nothing happens. Like that one. Did that one actually hit? And then it seems like there are two axe animations. Uh, there's a regular swing, and then there's this kind of like weird, more stylish one. Uh, with a pause, also. Okay. I was wondering for a second there. Um, I think that was actually taught way back in the day, but that was a skill that wasn't actually needed for a long time. Unlike others of our kind, we're peaceful. Ah. Nope, nope. Go back down. The Mushroom People. Welcome to Matango, or Matango. I'm sure King Truffle can help you. They're very into this uh, mushroom theme. Gont, Gont Ma means goodbye. Okay. We aren't equipped to fight monsters, I can tell. You're just a bunch of mushrooms. We say Matango to greet each other. So it was, what, Maganto to say goodbye? The forest has become a dangerous place. That, that's very nice, sir. I'm glad uh, you told me that again. Not leaving yet, I hope. Okay, I think I've run out of the random dialogue these random civvies say, but I can at the very least resupply the candy that I used. Maybe get some items if they actually have armor that's worth uh, using. Wolf's Band. So let's grab three of those. Fancy overalls. What what do, what would make overalls fancy? Because overall overalls aren't very fancy. Steel cap and quill cap. So Nick could use the steel cap. Um, Ripley and Sprite can use the quill cap. All right. And now that everybody's well and equipped, we can move on. Although I don't get why there's this whole tribal theme going on. And also, very convenient of you being here. Woo, I already th I thought you'd already left. Okay, which one's ready? I believe the whip is... Eh, I might be wrong. The chakram is ready. Which is now a load boomerang. And I think that is it. 
It's very convenient that he's following me around in the journey. This man's told me all about you. The king's inside. Get the king's permission first. The king's permission to do what? I probably should talk to the king to find out what I need permission for. Things have gotten expensive. It's 50 GP here. And and uh, it's 50 GP for like hay beds. And also I just realized that the sprites just kind of like sever themselves in half uh, for when they're sleeping in bed. Like it's not like a whole sprite underneath the layer as much as like they just made a half sprite. That's just their upper half. Which, I sp it makes perfect sense. I mean, like, why are you going to spend so much time making a full sprite just to try to cover it up with sheets? You might as well just make the illusion that people are underneath the sheets. Um, I saw a white dragon. They're supposed to be extinct. Our ancestors once rode flying animals. White dragons, I believe. Amazingly, a white dragon was spotted yesterday in a cave to the north. I'm guessing uh, I will need permission to examine the white dragon. Legend has it that a mana beast took on the fortress. Animals similar to mana beasts live in our world. Oh, by the way, um, I forgot to mention it, but um, earlier uh, there was a discussion where people were talking about how Sprite uh, is born from mana. Um, this is a plot element that I don't remember from the original because it's been just so long since I played it. So I could very easily be wrong. But I'm thinking that the main character, who is apparently an orphan, is born from said mana. Um, sometimes you see them flying through the woods. King Truffle is a splendid ruler. However, he's reckless. Here at last, the legendary knights. You don't think we have legends here like everywhere else? I don't know why everybody gathered together for that one. Riding a white dragon and... Wielding the sword, they shall save the world. I don't know why the words and and they are positioned as is. Because it would make sense if like riding a white dragon comma, and wielding the sword, comma, they shall save the world. As three separate sentences, but... I'm sorry, King Truffle, I cannot respect your authority if your grammar is such. That's you guys, right? I knew it right away. Just yesterday, one of my people saw a white dragon fighting a huge snake. Use the first floor exit on the right for the, ca for the cave. Is there a second floor? I didn't even see stairs. Palace? I know where it is, but first find the cave! Then I'll tell you how to reach the palace. Oh, and there's something upstairs for you. Oh. Oh, there's the stairs up. Yeah. Got Javelin's Orb. And this is convenient because I can just go down and talk to the smithy. Have him fix up the javelin. And it becomes the Light Trident. Not particularly exciting, but actually... Okay, it looked like that would go somewhere, but it clearly does not. Alright, so I apparently have to go up to a cave before I get directions. Okay, this is going to be very difficult for my AI partners. There are a lot of Obstacles for them to negotiate. So 
so I will have to try my best to make sure they do not fall behind. See, that second animation for the axe is just kind of like a twirl, um, and it kind of ruins timing. Ooh. Damage, Trebek. That is very rude of these people for attacking me while I am sleeping. Nick is poisoned! Oh no! I better do something about it right now. See? Like, in, in RPGs, the, there's the ongoing joke where, like, people are um, regularly unwilling to use items. Um, you, you save that super-powered item uh, for the last enemy, and then you just don't end up using it because uh, you didn't even need, realize you needed it. Um, why did all those attacks miss? He was unconscious, laying on the floor. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh, there we go. Um, but with this game, I feel there it, it's even more important not to use items because you carry so few of them on you. Uh, let's see, what is that? Okay, Ruby, uh, her weapon skill has gone up with the axe. So now she just needs the boomerang, the trident, and the bow. So let us swap that out. And I think he's still using the boomerang. He still has more to gain from that. And he still has more... Oh, no, he's almost done. But yeah, uh, you can only carry, like, four of every item. Uh, you can only carry four candies, four chocolates, four revives. Oh! They changed the posts, but that is a... a whip point, I believe. There we go. Um, so, it feels like there's a greater emphasis in this game, especially on conserving items, especially for boss fights. Um, though I feel that uh, once you get into a boss fight, um, then it's perfectly fine to use all of your items. Because other than the fairy walnut, um, everything is cheap. Uh, candy is like 10 to 20 GP a pop. Chocolate is like 100 a piece. Um, and you don't really use your money for that much in this game. Um, even like the fairy walnut, which is the most expensive one, uh, at $1,000 each. Is that being blocked by the chest and... Climb down the stairs, thank you. There we go. Like, even that, um, is technically affordable. I mean, like, you don't want to use it all over the place. And then just keep... Like, it... it the, uh, amount of magic you have in this game, uh, in comparison to, um... Your amount of, uh, fairy walnuts, and the expense of the fairy walnuts. Um, it creates a situation in which, um... Uh... You'd rather not use magic on a regular basis, or at all. Like, magic is like items, it's for emergencies. Uh, because it is so hard to get back. It doesn't come back with level ups. Does it? No, it doesn't come back with, uh, revives, sorry. 
It does, I believe it does come back with level ups. Um, but you can't really depend on that as a means of, uh... <sighs> and uh, my characters are stuck in the background. Great. Alright, now I'm back at the spot in which I bugged out. Um, let us continue on. Deeper into the cave. Actually, she doesn't really need to use... This is more of a traversal weapon at this point. I will switch her over to the bow. Uh, now, uh, one thing that I haven't really been using uh, too much in just regular battle is the charge moves. I'm... I think there's a couple reasons why I haven't really been using them that much. Uh, the first being that it takes a while to actually execute any specific move. Um, and the second is... Um, let's see, that's a gap. Uh, the second is that um, attacks are very unreliable. Hmm. So there's this path up. Oh, that's what these guys do. It seems like they don't do anything. Uh, but they actually summon these Sonic the Hedgehog-esque creatures. Mono bird. Yeah. Okay, so there is the path that's upstairs. And I wonder if there is another path. And that just missed entirely. There's also a path downstairs. Which goes nowhere. Hmm. I wonder if I'm going to have to watch out for any, like, drops. Oh, that actually hit. You know, I would... I wish the, the bow and arrow had more range. Like, it seems like it should... But, like, I think that, uh, that load boomerang has more range than the bow and arrow. Alright, that was actually convenient because that healed Nick up since he was getting pretty low. You know, I keep looking around expecting there to be multiple paths, but this is a pretty linear game. Uh, the exploration is about is less about finding out where the branching paths go, and more about um, just figuring out a way forward. Which it, that winding path. Yeah, the owl isn't really in line with me, but. I'll take it, I mean... Like this... Well, I guess the this flying bird man guy, he can use spells, so in theory he should be able to do something against me. Um... But whatever he does, like whatever sonics he uh, summons, um, they're not going to be able to do too much. 
Uh, let's swap him over to the Claws. Ah, and Ripley leveled up too. Also convenient. Nemesis Owl. What makes this owl my nemesis? Oh. Another thing that kind of, uh, like, takes away the real-time uh, nature of this game, like, makes the real-time more an illusion than anything else. Um, is that there really is no real way to dodge attacks. There's no defense button. I mean, I guess you... Like, there's no, like, dodge button, should I say. Like, dodging in this game is like jumping in Doom. Uh, you run off a platform and fall. In this case, you just move. Um, and sometimes even that isn't exactly enough. Um, also, it looks like... Ooh! Um, do I have enough magic for Analyze? I believe I do. That is your job, sir. I'm guessing, uh, Earthquake? Ground? Gnome's magic will work. So I shall use the cheapest of gnomes magic, which is probably speed down? Let's see if it works. Like, if it matters so little to the game. Oh, nope. It has to be a specific one. Let's use Earth Slide. Heard the sound of falling rock somewhere. Maybe not here. Also, uh, let's give Sprite some candy. So, where is... Okay, let's see if we can manage to beat this guy. Okay, yep, without him summoning any characters. Again, I'm always... I'm, I still find the idea that silence is their confusion spell, and it's very short. Like, it doesn't affect any of the other buttons except for... Except for the D-pad. Eh. There we go. Oh, and Ripley is now... I believe she should be done with the bow and arrow. Uh, let's see if he still needs the boomerang. He does not. So we'll switch him to the axe. That is there. And then she can use the Trident. Gum for amazing fresh breath. Yes. And then I forget what Nick is up to. He was doing uh, claws. He's done. So I can switch him over to the boomerang. Which is there. Let's 
This is a very odd angle to be fighting bad guys. And that did not hit. Or is that hitting this? All right, let's check out some of these charge moves. Okay, I'm guessing that path to nowhere uh, that was a dead end before, um, that's going to be the path forward now. Oh, there we go, that guy. Excellent. Ah. Um. This, this, uh, repeated attempts to hit the guy, like, trying to find that specific targeting, that, that specific, um, hitbox feels a little bit like insanity, trying the same thing over and over again while expecting different results. Also, that goes nowhere. And I want to say this is where I came from. Yeah, because that's where the game crashed. Hmm. Okay, so I think this might be the way forward. Just a path that I did not notice uh, on my first try. Um, let's see where this goes. Ah, this is the way forward. Um, is there a snake? Ah, it's a snake. Who would have thought of stout oh, the jeez. Nick's Is that temporary? Jesus. And he's dead. Okay. So I'm going to have you use that acid rain ability. Um Apparently, I'm not close enough. Okay. Let's uh, bring Nick back from the dead. Using one of these. Let's swap out some weapons. Let's swap him out to something that's that he's good with. Because everybody has their strengths. So it looks like the highest is for him is the axe. But I'm going to have him use the... The uh, boomerang once Nick is revived. Oh my god. Nick, can you... Finish reviving yourself. You don't need all this animation. Okay, now that he's alive, let's give him the boomerang. And then I believe that should be the best weapon for Nick. And then we'll hit him with some acid again. We'll hit him with some acid again. Oh my gosh. 
You son of a... Eat a chocolate. Okay. Now... I did not realize my party members will only use magic when they feel like it. Okay, the whip doesn't seem to be doing anything. Uh, let's switch her over to the spear. Um, and... No. What am I looking for? Do I have a cure? Like a... Oh, yeah, remedy. Let's see if this fixes their pygmy state. It does! Alright. Um, and also, let's cure them. And apparently, well, okay, because they're being- they're kind of stuck in animation. Um, let's see, he's almost out of MP. Now's the time to chill. No. It's like I have to really, really... Oh my gosh. What is going on with the graphics? Okay. So he's been... Pygm... Pygmied? Um, I'm going to give him a Fairy Walnut. And I think the Freeze wa attack did a lot of damage. So I think I'm going to try that again. If this snake comes out of hiding. Okay. Um, where is... There it is. I don't think that actually did as much damage as I thought it would. Um, okay. Nope, now he's too far away. Okay, and everybody's tiny again. Um... Luckily, they can't... Uh, and, uh, Sprite is dead. Which is not very convenient. Alright, so he can have a chocolate. And let's bring Sprite back. Because he's the only one with uh, offensive magic. Which is very useful for this fight, because that's really the only thing that freezes um, opponents in place. Okay. Does the medical herb cure all illnesses, or just poison? It does everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so I need to bring, at the very least, like, um, like, she still has a lot of health, or should I say, god damn it, I just remedied everybody. 
and they immediately got knocked back down. Okay, and nope. And he's been pygmied all right. Oh, nope, he's dead. Oof. I do not have to worry about this anymore. Got swords or all right, that's about time. It's been a while since we've been able to upgrade the mana sword. Um Alright. Oh, and there's the dead end from the caves. Nope, stop. Follow. Thank you. Ah. And here is the white dragon who has a surprisingly large amount of hair. Like a weird blonde tope. This is the legendary white dragon? Ooh, there's the sad music again. Its parents must have been beaten by that serpent. Oh, uh, the, it, his head is bouncing because he's crying. It won't make it if we leave it here. It's way too big for us to carry. Let's ask Truffle. He'll only slow you down, so I'll raise him. K King Truffle, quiet, you! You three, get going. I'll take good care of him. By the way, how do you like the name Flammy? Flamey? Hang on, I sound like an idiot. You'd agree with me whether you like the name or not, so let's call him Flamey and be done with it. Cannon travel is open again in the forest to the south. You'll find the Fire Palace somewhere in the desert of Kakara. So wait, what did you gain? Like, why did you need me to find the dragon? Hello! Flamey is doing fine. Alright. I guess we gotta go back to cannon travel, but hey, we can upgrade the sword. Thank you for watching. Questions, comments, recommendations for something to play next? Comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. So long for now.